so honored to be speaking here today. Oh, okay, can you hear me now? I am so sorry. I am sick. I will try to like muster through this. Um, hi, my name is Stevie. I'm the community organizer for Citizen Action of New York. I'm honored to be speaking here today as a proud ally and supporter of the climate justice movement. This crisis has led to mass displacement of entire communities. We have people right here in Rochester who have experienced this firsthand. I love being surrounded by my people, but I'm sad to see that it's because they are climate refugees who lost so much after Hurricane Maria. And instead of providing proper relief, we have people who still think climate change is a myth and are capitalizing on the displacement of thousands of people. Whoa. a target for Agent Orange testing, cold run energy that has polluted our waters and impacted our health in extreme ways. They have chipped away at our coral reefs as they expand resorts and have left us defenseless. Today it is us. Tomorrow it will be you. We have to say no to disaster capitalists who profit from our displacement and pain. Ooh, yeah. that, is <laughs> that is just one example of how this is a global issue. But I'm here to tell you that change starts locally, and it's up to us to push those changes through. This past legislative session, the people stormed Albany to let our representatives know that when it comes to our future and the state of our environment, action is necessary. <laughs> Albany's response to the thousands of people who took action by getting on buses, crowded their halls and occupied their spaces was the passing of the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act. The CLCPA is a much needed step in the right direction and as it stands is currently one of the most progressive pieces of legislation around climate protection in the nation. But I am here to tell you that we can do more. It is up to us to do what we did this past legislative session and push further as we race against the ticking clock. It starts here, right here in Rochester, New York. rg &E plays a vital role in the CLCPA achieving its goals. And the public service commissioners who are appointed by Cuomo are responsible for regulating rg &E. Cuomo answers to us and we must hold him accountable. of building gas pipelines that only serve to negatively impact the health of the community and our environment. Our Jenny must protect the community it serves by investing in making energy efficiency and heat pumps affordable for all our Jenny rate payers. Energy is a human right and it's immoral and unethical to raise rates to begin with, let alone to build a pipeline. Cuomo must protect the communities he swore to serve by bringing back the provisions in the original version of the CLCPA that would have guaranteed just transition and investment in environmental justice communities. If he is serious about achieving the greenhouse gas emissions reduction goals, he and the public service commissioners must force RG&E to, tra to transition away from fossil fuels now. Yes. by listening to their constituents. Right here and now, we are telling you, we are telling you that while the CLCPA is a much needed step in the right direction, we will not settle for good enough. We only want to hear what else can we do. No more politics as usual. It's time to get it done.